The case had attracted more than 125,000 people to join forces in what was a last meaningful chance for them to try to stop the CETA trade deal in Germany. But when the decision came, it was not in their favour. The procedure on the application for issue of an interim injunction is adjunctive to a mutual decision. The application for issue on an interim injunction has been rejected on the measures of reasons. The CETA deal is a proposed free trade agreement between Canada and the EU. The aim is to remove almost all tariffs between the two partners. It will introduce an investment court system and will harmonise regulations while seeking to retain transparency and accountability. But this is opposed by human rights activists who say it threatens the democratic system. The level of opposition in Germany to this deal and another proposed between the EU and the US has been high. Last month, tens of thousands of people marched through the streets of Berlin to protest against the proposals. Marita Strasse represents one of the groups behind the latest case. She says despite the court's decision, their fight will continue. Uh, in the time remaining uh, until CETA will be ratified, uh, we will uh, succeed in defeating the treaty, I'm sure of that. The German Vice-Chancellor had said on Wednesday that an adverse ruling for the government could be catastrophic. After the ruling, Sigmar Gabriel spoke of his relief. I participated in the negotiations yesterday and I believe that with all the good arguments we were able to convince the constitutional court. The three conditions will of course be fulfilled. In some cases they are already fulfilled, but we will also ensure this in the European Council of Trade Ministers and the Cabinet decision. The politicians here hope that this ruling will allow the deal finally to be signed in two weeks' time. But there are other potential obstacles elsewhere in Europe that might still threaten that timescale. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin.